Tammy, I don't know how closely you keep up with foreclosure rates, but evidently, according to Adam, and that is a foreclosure data uh, company, um, they're a leading curator of real estate data. Basically, they say in August of 2022, U.S. foreclosure market shows that there were 34,501 U.S. properties with foreclosure filings, up 14% from a month ago and up 118% from a year ago. Now, my question for you, Tammy, is do you think foreclosures are going to be a problem? I think that a homeowner's lack of knowledge of their options is really the problem. Because value- right. let, me, let, me, let, me, let me hear more. So, so are you saying that you think they're actually, in most cases, in control, but they might not know it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that, I mean, there's so much equity still in everybody's homes. And people are just, they're getting caught up in debt. They're getting caught up in the stress of things. And they tend to say, I just want out. Yep. I just I just want out. And, and that's the easiest way because somebody else is making the decision for them. Rather than them doing the work and working with an agent to get it sold and to get the equity and being a little bit more ahead of that foreclosure notice. Yep. To me, there's there's no reason foreclosure should be that high when the sellers or the homeowners are educated. Mm-hmm. There's no reason it should be that high. And, and I'm thinking that pre-pandemic levels back in 2019, foreclosure closure levels were not necessarily high, but they went away to almost zero mm-hmm. because they put a moratorium in place. There could be no foreclosures. And what is interesting, I think, Tammy, you are right on the money. People have so much equity in their homes. It's hard to get somebody to just let a home go right. when you have equity. Like if I had $200,000 in equity in my house and you were the bank of Tammy and you were trying to foreclose on my home, I would figure out how to solve my problem yeah. and, and keep my you know 200000 or 160 or 80 or whatever it wound up being. I think there's also a couple of other reasons, and you tell me what you think. Number one, credit standards have just been higher mm-hmm. really since 2009, 2010. And the reality is the pressure we have in the market because we don't have enough inventory, that pressure is not going away because we don't have enough inventory. They haven't built enough houses all the way back through 2008 in order to keep up with demand. Give me your thoughts on those those last two items. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, there's not enough. It's, it's a good seller's market. So anytime we don't have enough inventory, um, it, it's just a good time to sell. So. When a homeowner is considering foreclosure or the threat of foreclosures in front of them, um, they need to be talking with somebody who can educate them on their options. Yep. Because the reality is it's gonna cost to live somewhere. Nobody lives under a roof for free. So they're going to have to pay and they gotta figure out, hey, what am I doing next? Inventory's still low. Even if they were getting forced out into the rental market, they're probably going to spend more money than mm-hmm. they would if they bought if yeah. they, they kept their home. But let's talk about the states where foreclosures went up the most, okay. if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Neither one of them, uh, neither Georgia or Texas, are on the list. Score. So Oklahoma foreclosures were up 80%. Tennessee up 74%. Virginia up 64%. Arkansas up 53%. Washington up 50%. I don't know if that's Washington State or Washington, D.C. I think that might be Washington State. Illinois, Delaware, and South Carolina had the highest foreclosure rates. Nationwide, one in every 4,072 housing units had a foreclosure filing in August. States with the highest foreclosure rate, Illinois, one in every 1,900 homes. Delaware, one in every 2,300. South Carolina, one in every 2,400 homes. New Jersey, one in every 2,441. And Florida, our neighbor close by, one in every 2,900 and 50 homes. The areas in the country that were worst hit, Jacksonville, North Carolina, Bakersfield, California, South Bend, Indiana, Rockford, Illinois. I used to live about an hour and a half from there, an hour. And then Cleveland, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, Jacksonville, Florida, Riverside, California, and Orlando, Florida round out the list. So it's definitely something that we need to be paying attention Mm -hmm. to. But the reality is, Tammy and I both agree, and we certainly don't have a crystal ball, although I do have a crystal ball. It doesn't work that way. But (laughs) we don't have a crystal ball that will tell us exactly how the market is going to work. But we believe that we're not going to face a foreclosure crisis Mm -hmm. Uh, because even foreclosures, even homes that might go to foreclosure will probably be sold by the homeowner prior to the home being foreclosed. Mm -hmm. You agree with that, right? I do. 